Hi guys, um, I have been doing some experimenting today. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of the results and then I'm going to do a video for you on how I uh, came to some of these results. So this was um, all of my bottle paints, thickened them up, I'm gonna show you that. Um, used Artist Loft White Flow for the background. I used American Floetrol for the cell activator. And this is my new swipe. I'm calling it a pinwheel swipe. All right, so there is a second one. These were all done a little bit differently. Not crazy about that one. That one was kind of a fail. Um, this was the first one I did with the black cell activator. And then, not crazy about that one either, cell explosion. Um, that one had my little secret ingredient, though, I'm going to share it with you in a minute. This one was I thinned out my white and just thinned it out a little bit too much. Okay, and here is the difference. This one is done with, let's see if I can get the glare out of it for you. Uh, this is with the Australian Floetrol. Everything else is American except for the cell activator. And I used a white cell activator. So really pretty, a lot more cells. I kind of think this one's prettier. Um, as a pinwheel swipe, this one, I kind of lost the definition a little bit. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to show you how to do these. Right now, I just wanted to show you my little experiments, and I have to move them out of the way to dry. Uh, we'll see how they dry, hopefully good. And um, I will get something filmed for you. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't know why I tell you guys to hold on, because <laughs> you don't really need to hold on. Anyhow. All right, so what I did is I took my bottle paints that I have mixed to maybe like a medium consistency and I put them in a cup and then I added tube paint. And I forgot to grab my tube paint, but it's right on top. So. My tube paint for this one is Artist Loft Flow uh, or Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt. So I'm just going to add some tube paint to that to thicken it up so that it mimics your mix that you would have for uh, with your base paint and your um, polycrylic. So you want it thick, uh, but you want it to drizzle off the stick. So you want a mound and a mound, big mound. Um, Okay, so thicker than, Chloe's in here with me. She's insisting today that she be in here with me while I paint. I have not gotten any paint on her so far, <laughs> my goodness. All right, same thing with my, uh, not same thing, but with my black base and the ones I did earlier were the white base. I uh, just use Artist Loft Flow uh, mostly paint and then probably a third of it um, with Floetrol, just American Floetrol. All this today that I'm showing you has been done with American Floetrol except for that one. Um, so I'm just kind of spreading that base out. I'll get the corners when I when I finish. All right, so my colors today are um, what am I going to start with? Let me see. Let's start with some of this purple. This is deep violet by Liquitex. So you can see how thick that paint is. Really 
blooming, a lot of it is about consistency. So to me, you can use your, your regular paint. You just have to thicken them up. And I've had some pretty good success with this. So that was uh, the Cobalt Metallic. This is PBO. Green, blue, iridescent. This is a green that I mixed. It has, uh, hard to see on camera, but it has some, um, what do they call it? Dragon breath or dragon glaze or something that I got that's a green hue. I found that at Michael's. Um, and it's a uh, phthalo green. And then I mixed in some deep red just to uh, darken it a little bit and make it not so in your face cool green. So it warms it up just a little bit if you add some red to it. All right, that's my Prussian blue. And then I'm going to go in with some gold. I am using a black cell activator. So uh, I wanted it to end with a lighter color. All right, and I have my black cell activator. Okay, so my cell activator is Amsterdam Oxide, Black Oxide, and I have mixed it probably um, eight or nine, ten to one with American Floetrol. So it's, you know, drip off your stick. I was watching somebody today. I'm going to have to link her name and her maybe one of her videos in my description because I cannot remember who it was. But she had a lot of information on American Floetrol and Amsterdam paint and getting it to the right consistency. One little thing that I did um, just to see what it would do is I added a drop of my silicone oil. Just a drop in, in like a two ounce cup. You don't want a whole lot. You want to stir it up really well. Okay. And then I'm just going to pour that into the middle. I have a playing card that I cut just a little piece off of. Uh, I find the playing cards work better. Also, I've been spinning these a little bit just to move the paint out a little bit more, and it's working pretty well. Um, anyhow, playing cards as opposed to swiping tools. Um, they're shorter, so they don't have they don't have a lot of bend to them, and they already have a wax on them. So I just really like the playing cards. I've been using those for quite a while. All right, so all I'm doing is starting in the center, and kind of uh, at an angle, and uh, about midway from the center. And I'm just going to swipe. That one wasn't very good. I'm going to do that one over. Slow and deliberate is always best. I have my paper towel over here on the side. And um, just wiping it off after every swipe. So you can see those cells popping up. If you start running out of black cell activator towards the end, you can dip your card into the cell activator and pull some more out. I'm just going to go in a little with a little bit of cell activator for my last one. Whoops. I touched the other one. All right. Let's go back in. A little bit of cell activator on my card. And I'm just going to go. No, I missed it. Okay. 
So there is Pinwheel Swipe. Um, I think I want a little bit more gold coming through there. So I'm going to go back in with my black. And just redo that one. If you don't like what's going on, you can always re-swipe. All right. Now, I'm not going to call this, this is just going to be a pinwheel swipe. I'm not going to put blue in there because nothing about this is bloom. Like, it's all American. There's no... And it's even weirder that I put the silicone in the swipe. So it's just going to be my pinwheel swipe. Um, I'm going to get these corners while I'm letting that kind of collect before I spin it. So make sure you pull that paint out to your corners before you spin. I am not going to torch this. Uh, if you torch it, you're going to get even more cells. So I think I'm just going to put you guys on pause and uh, let it do its thing before I spin it out because I want it to, I want some of those gold cells to open up a little bit more. So I will be right back. Okay, we're ready to spin. Here we go. You know what? First, before I spin, I found this helps to not get paint everywhere. Take off that excess before you spin. All right. Okay, really pretty. See how that silicone just helps open it up a little bit? Sorry guys, <laughs> I'm standing here staring at it. I'm gonna um, give you a close up so you can really see what's going on there. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I'm trying to decide if I wanna spin it one more time, but I really like these cells out here. They're so pretty, so cool. And you can see if I were to go in and torch it, it would just be way too many cells. So with the silicone in there, you don't really need to torch it. All right. I might do one more for you. Maybe uh, with a white background, I'm thinking. So let's pause. Let me write. So here is the close-up. You can see all that shimmer and I'm trying to get out of the glare here. Cells, really cool cells. There's that gold coming through the middle. I just love that right there. So cool. There's the other corner. All right. So there is my first pinwheel swipe on camera. I'm going to do one more for you in white background. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I did one, as you can see, not happy with it, so we're starting over. My base paint, when I mixed it up, I took notice a little bit more, is about 70% uh, paint, 30% water. Uh, the lady's name is Jody, and she is the Painted Dreamer. Go check her out. She has some really interesting... Uh, formulas that she's been working on. So, thank you, Jody. All right. So, oops, I didn't get another card cut. Okay. 
My white cell activator that I'm using is Amsterdam paint, white Amsterdam titanium white. Um, a little bit of ink, white ink, about five drops, because I just think it helps keep the white better. Um, one drop of my acrylic pour oil. You could use whatever uh, silicone oil you have or dimethicone, whatever you normally use. But try to get half a drop in there, if that makes any sense, in this little two ounce cup, uh, just so you don't have cell explosion. I'm still playing around with that formula. All right, so I'm gonna go in with some of this cobalt blue. My paints are getting a little bit thick. Some of the PBO green blue iridescent. A little bit of this green mixture. I'm adding Prussian blue this time. Since I'm going with white, the Prussian blue would not probably show up on the black, so. A little bit of gold. And then remember when you're doing white, or uh, white cell activator, you wanna end with a dark color because the uh, because you're using a white cell activator. When you're using a black cell activator, you wanna end with a lighter color or in, like a gold iridescent. Works better. All right, I'm gonna spin that out a little bit. I'm gonna move it. Get my corners covered. And it looks like I have a lump. All right, get my card. Let's put some of this cell activator on. Try not to get as much as I did last time. That was the problem. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah, that looks better. Better, better in the center. Just in the center. Let that silicone do its magic. I don't like that last swipe that I did. That wasn't the last one I did because I think this was the last one I did. I don't like that one either. Uh oh, I bent my cards. Oh, geez.
pretty cool. Let's give it a spin. Let me get that. Let me get some of this paint first. These are going to make gorgeous trivets. That last video I did the pink one, um, Darnell Shoemaker bought it from me. So that was exciting. She was on our trip with us. So I got to meet her in person, which was really fun. I've known her for a long time. I've watched her for a long time, so it was fun to get to know some of these people. Okay, I don't think I like that. Why did I do that? All right, let's spin it out and see what we get. Oh, yeah. that I used or I cut off and swipe that out of there. Just uh, modifying a little bit. I kind of like that inner swipe on these up some of that white that's in there. All right. Yep, pretty. Love those colors together. Let's just give it a little kiss in the middle. Hmm. I feel like this one could use some modifying, but it's got so much going on. I hate to uh, add to the craziness. Let me get rid of those edges so you can see it clearer. That gold isn't coming out very much in the center, which is a little disappointing. Probably will. I think the white is just a little bit thicker than I want it to be. So let me see. I found some of that purple. There. That's pretty. Better. Pretty, pretty. See, sometimes you just need to do little things to make it better. All right, guys. Um... I will bring you in for a close-up, and I'm going to take you over to show you 
because I have the light on it now. Um, I didn't realize I didn't have a really good light going on that other one. So I will give you a close up on both of these. Okay. So I would say these are bloom like. Um, you know, not, I won't say as good, but let's just say they're different. That gold will come up through there and when it dries will be really pretty peeking through there. That one kind of looks like a starfish, I think. Really pretty. And then this is the black one under the light. So really pretty. Just love that PBO, PBO, PBO. When it dries, it has so much shine to it. And if you play it off other colors that are matte, it's just beautiful, especially with the black. So that one came out really cool. And there's my other one. So please like, share, and subscribe. I'm still trying to get my hours viewed, so if you can, try to watch the whole video. I know sometimes it's not possible. And uh, I will see you guys next week. I hope you have a great one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.